In this video, I'll take a look at how we can import context models, concepts, and proposals into the Ecotect environment using different kind of formats and speeding up the process. I've now opened the conceptual environment with inside Ecotect, and in this tutorial, I want to show some different methods for bringing in context elements and proposals and more physical correct building information models into Ecotect analysis. So here is just a simple context that I imported from Revit and you're also able to import from multiple other applications into this program. Then here I have an example of just a very simple form proposal because sometimes you'll just need some very simple surface models within here because looking at things like shadows and solar radiation analysis it's more easy to set up the analysis just having a simple model but when you move on in uh, the simulation process you might want to begin looking at things like thermal simulations inside Ecotech and that's where you can use KPXML to import a zone model into Ecotech and then I'm often using uh, an, an overlay model that I can overlay with more visual geometry that I can bring in from 3ds Max Design uh, from Revit, taking it into 3ds Max Design and then exporting it as a 3ds file. So I just opened an empty Ecotect file here and I want to show how we can import context as DXF from Revit or another application as 3D CAD geometry. So I'm going to this brief here, context export, and I'm just pulling in the DXF file into Ecotech. And then it's great that when you import 3D CAD geometry, you have this preview win window. So you will able to go to and isolate to say, okay, I don't want to have these elements in here. Say ignore, or just to figure out what is what in here. So these elements here are my context elements. I want to just sort them out a bit. So First of all, I want to select the material, and I already made a material with inside this file, so I'm saying select existing material, and just going here to say OK, context model, say OK, and I want to give or import this model into a specific zone, so I'm going to zone, add new zone, and let's call this context DXF, OK? You can also, if you're working in Revit or Vasari, you can effectively use the, the conceptual energy analysis and set up the context into the cloud and then exporting it as a GPXML file to Ecotech and that will allow you to work also with putting on materials on, on roofs and other surfaces here. The program will know from default based on the orientation what kind of elements are walls and roofs in this model here. So now I'm ready and I can save this translation out so if I'm doing modifications on the model and I want to load it in again I can just load this translation and I don't have to set up these settings again so I'm just saying importing to existing and I'm marking out how to merge triangulars and that's something that you could do with inside Ecotech and I'm going into that in a video about how to optimize geometry so I'm just saying import and now I'm importing a very simple context model that I can use for doing pre-analysis of the site and physical elements on the specific um, place we want to build. And you see that it's grouped in here. Okay. So the next thing I want to show is how to bring in uh, a proposal model as uh, GPXML. So I'm going to turn off the geometry or the context that I imported. I'm going to go down to the folder like that. And I'm going to this folder here and I'm going to export the XML, taking this here proposal and I'm pulling it into the model like that and now I will have a summary of all the spaces I unfortunately don't have the ability to preview the files here so it takes a bit more time to map to say okay this is a basic wall that's a wall this is a window I need to set that as a window and go through this list and set it up and you can save this again so it's a bit more effective and then you can just say importing to existing and I'm now importing the model. So as you'll see here this model requires a bit more prep work before it's done uh, doing simulations with inside Ecotech 
but that's what happens a lot of times when you're in port geometry but this is just to show how this is working so the last thing i want to show is how to bring in a more detailed model and i just have a bit of other example from another tutorial and um, it's a project from Rupo Architects and I'm just going to pull it in here and now you see that this is really an import as a DXF file from Revit and that's not really working too too hard in here so I just want to cancel this and just show you how effective it is that if you bring in the model into um, 3ds Max Design and then export it as a 3ds file then you won't have any problems with millions and stuff like that and then you can quickly go to this list here to say okay what's this this is my windows set that as set that window like that and then pretty much re ready to import the model and just say import into existing and then i'm importing a very clean model into ecotech analysis so now it's merged all the triangulars and the geometry and i can go in here and just have a look at how sweet this model is brought in using that bit of workaround here. Another way that you can use is that with inside Revit to isolate walls and windows and stuff like that and just import the elements in different files so you'll be able to control and go in and work a bit more with the model.